This is the sort of machine that you'd find installed in a public building like a church or a station or a town hall in the middle or even early 20th century to drive the external dials of the clock. And it has two interesting and important ideas embodied in it. One relates to the difficulties that public clocks have with bad weather, essentially strong winds affecting the hands, even snow accumulating on the minute hand as it comes up to the quarter two. That excessive drag or load on the hands is coped for by this arrangement where the electromagnets impulse and keep the pendulum swinging more frequently when the load goes up. And that's all arranged by this clever switching arrangement here. The second idea relates to timekeeping. The tops of towers are really inhospitable places because temperature might vary very wildly. It's not a great place to put a precision machine. So we take that job away. It's designed to drag the hands forwards through half a minute on the external dials, but in reality, in 26 seconds, it's running fast. At the end of the 26 seconds, it puts itself into what we could call waiting mode. It's saying, okay, I'm ready to receive a pulse from an external source that can, tells me it's okay to go. And that external source will be a clock that we put in a good location, downstairs, easy to maintain, easy to regulate, easy to look after, which each half minute will send an accurate pulse. The clock's putting itself into waiting mode now, and within a moment, the accurate pulse will arrive. There it does, and now we can advance again. Two very clever ideas.